Hi everyone. So someone requested a follow-up to the last reading I did, which was basically there was like a third party energy. I felt that I picked up this energy of like rumors, gossip, some kind of misunderstanding. So it's like there's a soul connection. There's a deep soul connection between two people. But it seems like on on someone's end, there's a friend or family member that wants to separate these two. And I feel like they do have good intentions, most likely, like it feels like someone that feels like they're protecting their friend or protecting their family member, but they're not actually protecting them because they really don't know this other person. They don't, it, it's almost like they're seeing someone in a bad light, like, oh, you need to stay away from him or you need to stay away from her. She's bad news or he's bad news. Um, you know, they're just going to hurt you or they're just, you know, it, it's like some kind of misinformation. So it's like they're, they're making, someone's made like a false judgment on you and gotten someone else's head. So at the moment, I mean, that last I picked up on it, that was separating uh, two people that actually do have a very deep spiritual bond. So, so someone requested a follow up to that reading, like what's likely to happen on, with the current energy, what's likely to happen between these two. So what's the story? What's the story here? Tell me more about this. The sun. Okay. It's a positive card. Six of wands. Page of cups. Okay. So we have very positive cards here. It's like someone does want success. Someone does want recognition with you. Someone sees, I see this as like power couple energy. Because Six of Wands is all about like victory, success, like public recognition. So it almost feels like this feels like something that they feel the two of you could do together. Like you're both the sun. You both are in the spotlight. You both shine. You both have this light to you. And they're seeing this in you. They're seeing you in a more positive light. And they're wanting to offer you something here with the Page of Cups. But let me see. The Empress. They're seeing you as the Empress. It's all four queens combined. A very powerful feminine energy. Page of Swords is communication, so it's like they're seeing you as the Empress. They're seeing the potential here. They're getting some kind of clarity, and they're wanting to communicate because they're seeing this in you. But yeah, that's I felt I feel still feel some kind of weird energy in the background though. And we got the Five of Swords. Tell me more about the Five of Swords. What else is going on here? The Lovers, the Magician. Queen of Cups, the Devil, Judgment, Two of Swords, ah, fuck. It's, it's really sad because, oh, God. It's like this person's intuition is trying to come through, but I feel like they're fighting it. We're going to look more into it. So it's it's like, yeah, I don't, feels like whatever someone said, it really got in their head. There was some kind of misinformation. It was like some kind of miscommunication about you. Like there was something, um, it could have even been something someone misunderstood that like made them feel like you weren't compatible. Like someone could have said like, oh, she wants kids and you don't want kids. You know, and this other person doesn't want kids or vice versa. It could be something like that. Um, or it could be like, oh, like I think she's bad news or I think it could be something about like emotions too because you're the queen of cups. Um, so you might be like a genuinely emotional person. Like you're, you're a genuinely empathetic, sensitive, emotional person. But for some reason, it's, it's like this person starts tuning into that Queen of Cups energy and seeing your heart and seeing that energy in you. But then it's like they make a false judgment. They're like, oh, no, this is devil energy. Like this is – does that make sense? It's almost like they're tuning into your energy. They're seeing who you really are. They're seeing that Empress side of you. They're seeing that Queen of Cups side of you, that nurturing, warm, loving side of you. But then we're going to look into this. What is what is this? Ugh. This energy. Hmm. Why why the lovers and the magician? They feel like it's going to be a battle, but they feel like you're worth it.
Three of Cups, Strength. Sorry, guys. I'm just give me a minute because I'm tuning into the energy here. I'm like, what is it? Because there's there's more. Sometimes like I can feel it because like you guys know how I channel. So it's like sometimes I pick up on the energy. I'm like, I know there's more to this. I know there's something else. Because like before I did some readings, I don't know if it was like two or three weeks ago. And remember like in that one of those videos, I was like, there's something here and there's like a wall and I can't feel it, you know, and then later it came out. Um, like there was like more information that came out like, oh, there's like a third party trying to block shit. You know what I mean? There's like like a friend or family member getting in someone's head. <sighs> Bear with me here. I got the strength. The Knight of Pentacles. I feel like, hold on. Okay, so what I'm feeling is, I feel like this person sees you as their wish fulfillment. They see you guys potentially being like a power couple. They feel like you guys could be very, um, like you guys could have, it's like a certain type of relationship that they feel like you could have. Like you're both passionate, you're both adventurous, you're both fun. You're both like, like you're, you're both, you know, boss types. You know what I mean? Like you're both like you, this is someone that you could just explore the world with. It's like, you can explore the universe with this person. You know what I mean? Like this is the type of person that like, like I've never done mushrooms, but like, this would be like the kind like I'm getting mushrooms for some reason. Maybe that's for someone that's watching, but like, this would be like someone that you would like do mushrooms with and like you just talk about life for hours and hours and hours and like you travel the world together and you like call each other out on your shit like you just have like that real just solid like solid relationship like very deep like you just know each other like your best friends. I feel like this third party though is convincing them that that's toxic or it's too good to be true or that that's going to end badly. It's like they're not understanding it. They're not this third party that's trying to protect this person is like not understanding you. They're not understanding who you are. They don't know you and they're making a false judgment judgment about you. And it's like they're getting in this person's head um, or they got in this person's head and maybe this person's still in their head. Even this, even if this person's not still talking shit, I feel like this person's like they're still in their head about it. Um. Because it's almost like it, it's like this person does see you as wish fulfillment, like they feel like it could be a battle, like there could be like there's some shit to work through, there could be struggles, there could be compromises that needed to be made. And it's like, yeah, in a real relationship, you guys are going to like challenge each other to be the best versions of yourself, you're going to be honest, you're going to be vulnerable with each other you're gonna call each other out like you're gonna yeah there might be arguments at times like in any relationship but if you're openly communicating it's like you're gonna work through those differences you know what I mean like you, the two of you could have it all like you could have that fun adventurous exciting relationship but also have that like emotional intimacy and that that depth and that um you know open communication and that stability and I feel like what's happening here is I feel like for whatever reason, this person is is feeling like they're seeing the potential here and then they're feeling like, like, oh, it's just passion or it's just lust. Like it's it would just, you know, die out as quickly as it started. Like it can't be trusted or like someone's making them feel that way. We're going to we're going to get more into it here. Why the let me see. Hold on. Give me a sec, guys. Sorry. <laughs> like looking at the lovers and the magician. Yeah, because I feel like this person's like trying to make a choice and they're like, I'm going to step into the, my power as like the magician. The magician is someone who like the world is their oyster. They have all the tools they need. They have the power within themselves. And I feel like your energy brings that out in this person. Like they it's like they see you being a bad bitch and they're like, I want to match that. Like I want to like dance, like that's sexy. That's attractive. Like I want to step up and match her energy or I want to step up and match his energy. You know what I mean? Like they see like, like you challenge them to be the best version of themselves is kind of what I'm feeling here. Like they want to, it's not competition, but it, it's, it's almost, it's like a, it's like a playful energy that I feel between the two of these people. Like a, how do I even explain it? It's like I'm trying to think of a good example. Well, I don't even know, but 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 basically like a sassiness, but in a positive way. You know what I mean? Like a 
it, it's like a good challenge. It's a good energy. We've got the devil judgment. It's like this person's making false judgments and they they end up blocking themselves from what could be a very good connection. Whether it's platonic or romantic, just it's a soul connection. Whatever it is, it's between you, you know, up to you guys. This could be like a deep friendship where you guys just like travel and you just have a very close, intimate connection. It's up to you two if you want it to be romantic or not. But it, it is like there is a deep soul connection here. There is a deep past life bond here. There is possibly even soul recognition here. Tell me more about this devil judgment, two of swords, though. I just, because it's something about your emotions. It's like there's something about you being a queen of cups. Um, I know I, I'm, I already said that, but it's like I keep being drawn back to it, back to this card specifically where I'm like the queen of cups is like emotional, loving, warm, nurturing. And so it's almost like they're seeing their, that your emotional side and it's like they're making false judgments about it or someone else like that friend or family member um, is is seeing that side of you and like judging you like, oh, I bet she like, can't handle anything or I bet she's like super unstable because she's emotional and it's like no just being emotional is who you are you're just an empathetic person it's not you know what I mean like you're just a very real honest person like you are very in tune with your emotions um people aren't used to that like people aren't used to to people that just are honest about what they feel people that don't put walls up and it's really sad it's really like fucked up in society if you think about it that people that don't express their emotions are seen as mentally healthy. You know, isn't that kind of screwed up? It's like people that have walls up, people that put on a facade, people that just like mess around and they never really commit to anyone and they work a boring nine to five job, but they're never really happy. Like society sees those people as stable, but people that are in tune with their emotions, people that, you know, maybe are, are you know, cry easily or, or are sensitive or they're, um, they express themselves more. They're more honest and aware of what they feel. Like they don't put their walls up. A lot of people see them as unstable. They don't understand that energy. And so I feel like either this person or this person's friend or family member is seeing this queen of soft, uh, queen of, I was going to say queen of softness, <laughs> queen of cups in you. Like they're seeing that emotional loving side, but they're like, you know, maybe this friend or family member of theirs is like maybe a little bit fake or maybe they're not someone who's super emotional. So like when they do see someone else who's like emo in tune with their emotions like that, it's like some part of them is jealous that they can't be that way themselves. And so I think they make judgments because, yeah, that's actually what I am getting here. I almost feel like. Okay, so like this friend or family member that I feel like is looking at you like this queen of cups and telling your person like, oh, I bet she's like emotionally unstable or this or that or like she's too sensitive or too this or too whatever um, or whatever these, you know, false wherever these false assumptions are coming from about you. I honestly feel like this friend or family member that's like watching you and seeing you be like this. I think that there's like a jealousy there, not jealous of you and this person necessarily. I mean, it could be for some, but I'm getting more of a jealousy of of uh, who you are. It's like there's some kind of like, I don't know if it's like a competitive energy, but it, it's almost like. It's like, I just feel like this, this friend or family member has like a lot of walls up. Like they're very, um, they're not very in tune with their emotions. And it's, it's like, they see you, they see that you are different than them. And they, they have like a little bit of like resentment, like, like they want to be that way, but they don't, but they don't want to be that way. And it's easy for like, they don't want to acknowledge it. So when they see someone that's like this, when this person sees someone who's like emotional and intuitive and expresses themselves, they don't want to admit that those are ideals that they look up to. They don't want to admit that they wish they could work on themselves and be like that. And keep in mind, this is the friend or family member that's talking shit about you to to the person that you're interested in is what I'm feeling. Um, I feel like this person, like they don't want to admit that um, that they have those walls. They don't want to admit that. Uh, how do I explain this? It's like it's like qualities they wish that they possessed. And so they have to push it away because if they acknowledge that, like if they admired that about you, if they looked at you and they're like, wow, she's really honest about how she feels like she's, she's, you know, real, they, they would have to like, 
work on themselves. You know what I mean? Like they would have to, you know, open up to that side of themselves, to those qualities. So it's it's almost like by pushing you out and trying to push you away from this person that that, that you like or that you love, it's like they're pushing a, a side of themselves out. They're seeing a, maybe a past version of themselves or they're seeing like a potential of what they could be in you, in your emotional side. Um and, and so they're like, they, they'd rather just tell themselves, it's like, they'd rather just lie to themselves and just be like, oh no, being emotional is, is not ideal being, you know, that's, that's weakness or that's, that's, um, you know, that's, that's overly sensitive. It's like, they're pushing, it's not about you. It's like, they're pushing those qualities out. They're pushing, they don't want to acknowledge those qualities as positive either in you or in others or in themselves. I mean, um, sorry, I know that made that way too complicated, but I hope that made sense. Uh, Double judgment, two of swords. Let's look more into this. Tell me more about this. These are all positive cards. What is this? Tell me what the Four of Pentacles represents here. Hold on, guys. What is this emperor? Who is this emperor? Ace of Cups. First, hmm. Hold on a second. I don't know why, but for some for some of them, they think that someone from your past is going to come back around, and that's not the case. Did I get that in the last reading? I'm not sure. I might have. I'm not sure, but it's it's like it's like it feels like this person is being lit. Like they either they're either seeing something that you're saying and they're feeling that way, or someone's telling them this. Someone's making them feel like like you're going to end up with someone else or like you're going to end up with someone from your past. And that's not really I, like, I don't see you going back to someone from your past, but they're being led to believe that. I'm going to reshuffle here. I almost feel like maybe this could even be for some of you, this could even be a, like a, another man that likes, you know, it, it, take it as it resonates. It could be male, female, however it is. But for some of you, this could even be like um, someone that likes you. Like for most of you, I feel like it's someone. Well, it could, that, okay. That's just like one storyline I'm getting. Like for some of you, I feel like it could be someone that's like, oh, she needs a stronger man. Like she needs someone who's uh, like this and this and this. Like they're just someone's talking for you is almost what it feels like. Like someone's making these assumptions about you. And they're just kind of running with it. And the issue is that you don't actually have like open, honest communication between this person you have a soul connection with. So they don't, it's like they're just taking someone's word for it. How is your person like, how is your person feeling about this? How is this person like, how are they, tell me about like what's going on like in their headspace, their heart space about like how they're feeling about, um, you know, these rumors, like what they're being told. Huh. Hmm. 
Something about this tower. God, I almost feel like it's really sad, but I almost feel like someone. It's fucked up that they open up to this person because I feel like they should. I don't feel like this friend or family member of theirs has bad intentions necessarily, but I feel like this friend or family member is kind of like like they need to back off a little bit. Like they're a little bit controlling. They don't. They need to not make assumptions about others because it. I almost feel like. You know that sinking feeling you get when, like, you find out something you really don't want to hear, like, something you don't want to know? Like, let's say you're really into someone and, like, you find out, like, you hear something about them or you, you know, some someone says something and it just, like, makes your heart sink. Like, I feel like that happened for a lot of you. I feel like that happened with your person. I feel like that happened with your person and I feel like it was, um, it, again, it was like a rumor or a lie or it was an assumption. It's like whatever it was, I don't feel like it was actually true, but it, it's like, so I see two people at like a, a bar, like they went out like a bar or a club and it's like they're talking and I feel like this guy is showing one of his friends like, oh, look at this girl, like I really like her, she's cute or she's interesting or something like that. And then his friend is like kind of like looking at all like looking at like a picture or a post or something um or if, if not if not showing something on the phone and be just talking about it but it's like I see these two people at like a bar having a conversation and then the friend is like oh like you don't want to go for that like she's taken or she's you know probably crazy or she's um that's probably just lust like you need to stay on track like she's just gonna uh you know, like, like you, you know, that's not going to end up well for you. Like you shouldn't do that. It, it's like someone opened up to some, to, to this friend or family member about you, about how they felt about you. And then this friend or family member gave them very bad advice about you. They made some kind of false assumption and it's like it planted a seed in this person's head where now they're doubting your connection. Now they're like, it's like their intuition and their heart is leading them to you but now they're fighting it because of what this friend said to them. They're like, no, that's probably not my heart. That's probably just lust or that's probably just, you know, it wouldn't work. Like they're, it's like they're fighting themselves on what they feel because this, this person that didn't know shit got in their head. It's like, they're convincing them like, yeah, you guys would have a great start. It'd be passionate and warm and fun and, and successful, but then there'd be like these battles. And then that would lead to loss, to heartbreak what else does this person think like what has this person been led to believe about you what else i'm sure there's it's gonna be different for everyone they do see an innocence and a warmth to you like i feel like they are getting truth and clarity like it's 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 kind of a process like with this person learning to like use their intuition and not this is a karmic lesson for this person too like this person is way too i don't know if like submissive is the right word but it's it's like they're letting these friends or family members control their life this person's like not following their heart they're not listening to their intuition they're not going with where they're led to go you know what I mean like they're listening to these people around them they're letting other people control their life and so I feel like it's really like this karmic test this karmic lesson for this person like are you worthy of this empress or are you just going to let her go and just listen to these false people that are around you you know are you going to have truth and clarity or are you really just going to let something like this go because I do feel like they are seeing your empress side. They're seeing your power. It's like not only are you powerful, but you also have this like childlike nature, like this innocence or purity to you, something very gentle in you. This person is drawn to that they feel like they want to protect. Um, and it's like they are wanting to choose you. They are wanting to choose you. It's just it's it's like this person is hopefully they learn the karmic test it's up in the air whether they will or not but it's, it's like i think it's it's like a process they're going back and forth you know what i mean like they're going they're really in their head about it right now um 
It's like, are they going to follow their heart and intuition or are they going to follow the crowd? Are they going to listen to other people's opinions and let other people run and control their life? Or are they going to, you know, take the sort of truth in and take their power back and step into their power and match you as an emperor, you know, step up to that throne and match you and be a power couple with you platonically or romantically, whatever it is. Like, are they going to step, step up to that calling? Um, tell me more about this. Tell me what else we need to know. I think there's more information that's going to come up in more readings too. I think it's just like, you know, there's, there's little bits that are coming up here and there, but tell me, tell me more about this. so weird how this person tries to control their life i almost feel like maybe this person's even a little reckless like maybe this friend or family member is like a little bit reckless so like he or she is going off their experience you know what i mean like like okay let's say like remember what i was saying earlier in the reading where i was like you guys could be like like you could have a passionate strong relationship but you're gonna have the emotional intimacy the the honesty the the con the deep conversations too like the friendship like you could really have a lot with this person whether it's platonic or romantic is up to you guys but there's a there there is a deep soul connection there, but I almost feel like maybe um, maybe this this friend or family member of theirs saw saw them like get into a, like a similar relationship like this, and it really hurt this person. So that's why they're so protective because they're like, oh, I bet it's just gonna end like that last one did. But you're not that person. You're not their ex. You're not you're not that same person. It's either that or I feel like. Maybe they're speaking from their own experience. Like maybe this friend or family member has, um, maybe they're the one that doesn't have like a, you know, that emotional control. You know what I mean? Like maybe they're kind of reckless and kind of out there. And so they look at like relationships that are like adventurous and passionate as like, oh yeah, that's going to burn out. Like you couldn't have something like that. Um, I know from experience, cause like, oh, I've had those kind of relationships and like they never work, but it's like that, that person is, isn't telling you your experience or telling you she's, she or she is going off their own experience. Like that's, it's, that's different. Everyone's different. You know what I mean? And so th this person just really needs to learn to think for themselves because yeah, if you have that passion, you have to take like the extra precautions, like build a strong friendship to have that solid foundation, find that balance. But I mean, you can have that passion and romance in a relationship. It's like not every relationship is the same. You have to be open minded and you can't just let other people dictate your experiences. You can't just let other people decide your life for you. Like, you know, just because this friend or family member of this person's like, you know, couldn't do relationships like that. That doesn't mean that this that, you know, your person can't or that you can't. Um Okay, let's see. Any final messages on this? I do feel like there's more to this. I just feel like it's like, I feel like it's going to come up in other readings. Are a lot of you here for this? Like, are a lot of you in this energy group? Because I want to make sure that I'm, you know, that I'm doing readings for everybody. I want to make sure I, you know, tap into a few different energy groups here. So if you guys aren't resonating with these readings, let me know. Like, if this is, if you feel like I haven't, like, gotten to your energy group in, like, a few weeks or whatever, just, like, let me know and I'll, I'll you know, try to tap into you. Um, is there anything more to know about? I, I just feel like there is, but I feel like it's, let's see, let's see. We'll see if the cards want to say anything else. Hold on. Wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Those are some good cards. You got the Queen of Cups, you got the Two of Cups, the Lovers, the Four of Wands, the High Priestess. This is like a very deep soulmate or twin flame bond. This is a deep connection. That's like peace, stability, harmony. Choice.
the high priestess is like she's very intuitive but she doesn't always speak on what she sees or what she experiences so it's almost like maybe she's holding back like what she tell me more about the high priestess hold on strength yeah hold that's holding back <laughs> nine of cups Okay, I think the warning here, oh, why, wait, hold on. <laughs> why the devil? I swear, it's like, I'll do these readings like, oh, this makes sense. And it's like, why the devil? What we doing here? <laughs> hold on. <laughs> so I thought I had like the storyline and then it's like, there's like, oh, there's more. Wait, there's more. There's something with the devil here. Hold on. <laughs> I think the warning here, though, is to like, don't, um overwhelm this person because okay so there could be someone here in this connection that's very intuitive and you like the high priestess whether this is you or this is your person there's at least it could be both of you even but there's one person here that knows this is like a soulmate this is like a life partner this is a deep spiritual bond um whether it's romantic or platonic this could be like a platonic life partner even this could honestly be like a platonic like you guys are just you're going to be like best friends like you're going to be very close friends like you're going to really help each other heal you're going to have a very deep emotional connection like you guys need each other and it's not it's not toxic to need each other everyone has that like mentality of like oh it's so codependent to like need someone no it's human nature. Like we, we need love. We need people. We need human connection. We need people to talk to. So it's like, you're going to really need each other. You're going to rely on each other. You're going to support each other, but not in like a toxic way, not in like a, Oh my God, I can't like ever be by myself. Not like that kind of way, but like more on like a, like, this is the person I trust. This is the person I, I feel safe with. This is the person when I break down crying, this is the person I think about. This is the person that I want to be close to, to cuddle with, to, to talk to. This is the person that understands me. You know what I mean? It's like, you guys are going to have that kind of connection where it's like, you just, you understand each other. Um, and like I said, it could even be platonic. It, it might even be, pl be platonic for some of you. For some of you, this could, like I said, just be like a brother or a sister or like a best friend. Like, you know what, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't have to, for some it's romantic, for some it's not, it's up to you guys. But I think, but anyway, I think the warning here is to not necessarily speak too much on what you know, though, because it's like, even though you know that there's soul recognition here, one person in this, one, one party might not be as aware as the other party. And how would they feel if they knew? How would they feel if they knew? Hold on, what the, hold on. Oh, they would, so I, th I thought that it was saying like, oh, don't tell this person like about, you know, like not play hard to get necessarily, but like don't tell this person about like the past life connection or the soul bond right off the bat. You know what I mean? Cause that does, that can freak a lot of people out. That can be intense for a lot of people. So it's like kind of saying like, be the high priestess. Like, even though your intuition is telling you this, you don't necessarily need to go telling the person this, let them find out on their own naturally, like let the connection develop naturally. I think it's also saying don't tell other people this because other people, you know, I'm hearing that song, No One by Alicia Keys. It's like, no one's going to get in the way of what I, what I'm feeling for you. Um, and like, I know people will, will try to divide something so real. That's why till the end of time, I'm telling you, no one uh, will, I forget what the lyrics are, but anyway, it's a good song though. But, um, 
but yeah, like, like not only not tell this person because it might overwhelm them, they might overthink it. They might be a little bit freaked out or they might not be used to this kind of thing. So they might be like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like, they might not believe in it yet because I feel like this person is probably going to open up spiritually and psychically, but they kind of need to do that on their time. They need to, you know, their spirit guides are going to work with them on having a spiritual awakening, a psychic awakening coming into their psychic abilities. Um, and if you try to just like force them into their psychic abilities, or you try to just be like, oh, this is like a past life. And this is you're my soulmate. And, you know, you're one of my soulmates or whatever, it, it might like they might just be confused. You know what I mean? Like they might shut down a little bit and be like, I don't like they might even think you're a little crazy, honestly. Um, <laughs> So it's like, even if you're feeling the soul recognition, even if you have this awareness of, you know, what this connection is on a deeper level, you don't need to speak on it. And like I said, also because of other people, you, you probably don't want to tell, like people would be jealous of a connection like this. This is, I feel a very deep sense of support. Like there's, um, like an innocence to this connection where there's like a very strong, like you guys are really going to understand each other. Even if it's just platonic, like I said, for some of you, this is platonic for some, for others, it's romantic. Um, but it's, it's like this deep connection where you guys are really, I just keep hearing like the word support, like you're going to support each other. Like if you're like stranded, you know, 10 hours away, this person's going to come drive and, and pick you up. You know, if this person, you know, gets drunk and breaks down and cries, like you're, you're going to, you know, you're going to be there for them. You're going to, you're going to go get them. You're going to go talk to them. You're going to hear them out. Like you guys are really just going to have like that really deep friendship. Um, and I see a deep friendship, whether you're romantic or not, like for some, you'll have a deep friendship and that's it for others. You'll have a deep friendship and a romantic connection on top of that. Like it'll, it'll all kind of, you'll, you'll have everything, you know, with this person, but, um, but yeah, like something like that, like having like, like that kind of support with each other where you guys just get each other, people are going to be jealous of that. So you got to protect this connection. Don't go, don't go bragging about this. Don't go, um, don't go telling the wrong people how you feel or what's going on here. Like you could even have like jealous friends around you where you're like, oh my God, like I met, you know, I met, I met this amazing person and then like, they're, they're not really happy for you. So, so anyway, there's certain information you got to keep to yourself right now. Um, what I'm also feeling like if this person was to, you know, if you were to tell them about this, I feel, I, I mean, I do feel like they could be freaked out, but I think another factor to worry, like to consider, I wasn't going to say to worry about, to consider is almost like, I think they might get in their head about it a little bit because I think they might like, they might almost like get into like a too good to be true mentality, you know, like, oh, you're telling me like the kind of passionate, adventurous, like, you know, like that, just my, like having my best friend, like you're telling me like the kind of relationship I've always wanted is right in front of my face. Like, it's that easy. Like, I don't believe that. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, they're going to make a judgment call. They're going to be like, they're going to be like, oh, I'm going to work towards this, but then it's going to, it's going to be a battle. Um, this person's going to break me open. I'm going to, they're going to expose my vulnerable, innocent side, and then they're going to leave me. I'm going to get heartbroken. Like this person's afraid that you're going to leave them. I don't feel like you would leave them. I think you're both afraid of being left. I think you're both afraid of, of being abandoned, of, of being, you know, just left, being unloved, um, which is a very normal human fear, really. It really is. But, uh, but yeah, I, f I feel like this person might get in their head and they're like, well, I can't. It, it's, it's almost like they're going to feel like they're falling in love with you too fast. And then the logic is going to take over. You know what I mean? Like they're going to be like, okay, this is too perfect. This is too good to be true. Like you, you want to avoid becoming this person's unicorn. Cause I feel like that could happen. They're going to be like, like, yeah, they'll be a little bit freaked out, but uh, like the intuitive side of them would probably be like, damn, I think like he or she is right. I think this is everything I've ever wanted. Or I think this is something real here. There is something real underneath all of it, all the bullshit. Um, but then it, it's like, there's going to be that fear. Like this is, this is too easy or this is like, you're going to be that unicorn to them. Like, this is too good to be true. Like this is, they're going to like think about past heartbreaks and they're going to be afraid of investing in, in being left. They're going to be like, this is too real for me or this is too, um, 
it, it's like this is like everything I've wanted. It couldn't be that easy. Um, hmm. Anything else right now? I think more more information is going to come up later, but actually, hold on. Overall, it's like I keep getting a fear of the passion that's between the two of you. It's like they don't, that passion is, it's very deep. And it's like they're not, they're seeing it as like, oh, this is probably lust or this is probably, you know what I mean? Like I just keep getting like they're afraid of the passion. They're afraid of like, losing themselves to the passion or it's like this person that like got in their head is like making them feel like I don't want to say that they have to have a boring life but they're almost like oh like you can't like they're like you can't have a relationship like that work like it's not like like oh you have to you know I, I feel like this other person is like kind of like they feel like they know everything they're like oh this is how stable relationships work like you can't you know what I mean like you can't be that in love with someone that's not gonna last or what it's, it's like I don't know it's, it's like this person just gives bad advice it's sad because I, I see them getting advice from this false friend and it's like they're like at a bar or they're somewhere talking and they're really excited about you about the connection and then it's like this friend just kind of <sighs> drops this bomb on them but it's it's not even accurate information it's 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 like it's like I feel like this person's heart just sank like they really got in their head and it's like you guys ever seen the movie Inception it's almost like that seed was planted in this person's head and that's what's going on now where it's like their intuition is leading them to you but then there's that seed that was planted in their head that's like telling them like it's like well, what if that whatever that person said to them or whatever they you know whatever rumor it was, whatever mis, you know, misinformation, miscommunication, whatever happened, it's like, now it's like, that's in this person's head. And it's like, it's almost battling with their intuition where it's like, they're being led to you. But then they're like, no, that couldn't be my intuition. Because, you know, my friend or family member said that, you know, these kind of relationships don't work. Or because, you know, my friend or family member said that this is just too passionate, it would just burn out, like, I better be logical. And it's like, they're not really being logical. They're just not following their heart. Tell me more about what's what's going to happen with, um, is this person, like I said, it's a karmic test for this person too. Are they going to stand up to this? Are they going to speak for themselves? Are they going to, are they going to, you challenge them to grow and evolve. Are they going to meet that challenge? Are they going to rise? Are they going to rise up and meet you? Are they going to match your energy? You know? Hierophant and high priestess, empress and emperor, are they going to match that energy? Are they going to step up to the throne beside you? Um, you know, king and queen energy, power couple energy. Or are they just going to let other people run their lives? Are they just going to let other people get in their head? This person has to learn like a karmic lesson. They have to learn to think for themselves. They have to learn to use their intuition. They have to learn to stand their ground and really stand true to their beliefs, to their heart, um, to their soul, basically. What's likely to happen regarding this person spreading rumors? Like, is, is, is your person likely to, and again, it could be you, it could be, you could be the one that's dealing with, you know, um, you could be the one that has a friend or family member that's like spreading rumors, or you could be dealing, maybe your person is the one that on their end, they have the fam friend or family member that's spreading these rumors and lies about you. Take it as it resonates. But what's likely to happen What's likely to happen? Like, is this person going to learn the karmic lesson and stand up for themselves and stand up for the connection? Yeah, it looks like they're likely to, honestly, with how it's going. Yeah, it looks like the karma. They, it's Ace of Cups is like a love offer. You're, you're bringing about some changes in this person's life. So don't, um, how do I explain this? I don't want to say don't tune into their energy, but don't let the, how do, how do, how do I wear this? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Okay, I'm going to look into that in a second. Psst, like, what is that? it's a roller coaster when someone goes through like a transformation like a tower moment like this tower is like drastic change like overnight change like big life changes um tower can be good or bad depends on the context 
But when someone goes through that kind of process, like it can be turbulent, it can be up and down. You know what I mean? Like I can get this energy one day and like a couple of days I could do a reading and this person could just be very like closed off and like scared and like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. Like that's part of the process. Um, again, you know, don't put, I don't want to say don't put all your eggs in this basket. Like you're going to love who you love, but like, it, it's really, it's up to this person if they want to go through this and, and learn this karmic lesson and come forward to you. But, but like I said, in the meantime, since they're battling their intuition and they have all this energy, they're going to, it's a lot to sort through. It's going to be like a roller coaster up and down. So if you're tuning into their energy, if you're tuning in psychically to them, to their emotions, just understand, like you're going to have times when it feels really good, where you feel like just really intuitively connected to this person. And then you're going to have other times when you feel like, like a wall or like closed off or confused, like you're channeling this person's confusion. So just be mindful of being on that roller coaster with this person while they go through this karmic lesson and these life changes. Um, Okay, this, this this third party is going to see that they're wrapping this karmic cycle up and standing up for themselves. And this third party, what is this third party going to do? Because they're going to try to create a block. Yeah, they're going to try to convince them to walk away from something that's very successful. They're going to try to convince them, like, you should walk away. You're just going to end up alone. You're just going to get hurt. It's just going to be a battle. Like it's never going to work out. It's so sad because it's like you have a ten of cups here. Ten of cups, it's like true love. It's like everything. And this person's trying to convince them, like, just walk away from this. Like, just, like, like go, you know, going from rough waters to calm waters. Like, oh, this is just going to be chaos. They're, they're trying to convince them to leave a really good thing. Is it going to work, though? So they're going to try to... It's, it's almost like this person's going to... Like I said, it's going to be like a process. This person's going to stand up, I think, for your connection. But then it's like this friend or family member is going to be like, oh, no, don't do that. Like, that's a bad idea. Like, don't, don't go for that. But is it going to work, though, long term? Like, is this person eventually just going to be like, you know, no. Like, like, I'm learning this karmic lesson. I'm wrapping the cycle up. I'm doing what feels right to me. I'm taking a leap of faith. I'm going with where I feel drawn. I, I'm, I don't care what you think. I'm listening to myself. It's going to be a process because they are going to be in their head. They are going to be the king of swords. And honestly, the king of swords is, is it's not the greatest in a love reading because the king of swords is, is head over heart. The king of swords is very logical. They're going to get in their head. They're going to cause themselves insomnia, anxiety, confusion. They're going to see you as like the queen of wands. Like she's sexy. She's passionate. She's all these things. Um... I think what's going to happen is I feel like eventually they're going to wear themselves out. They're going to, it's like, they're going to try to fight this so hard and they're going to be in their head, but they're actually going to end up breaking down and just being like seduced. I don't know if like seduced, but it, it's like, they're going to see you. They're going to recognize that you're the sun. They're going to recognize that this is not toxic. This isn't one of those things that just, you know, half like burns out as, as quickly as it starts or whatever like this is something real as long as the two of you do it right and they're going to start I, th I think they're going to want to start working with you knight of wands don't um don't let this person sleep with you right away though hold on yeah that's going to lead to heartbreak So, I mean, there are warnings, like, there, there's potential, there's potential for this to be a lifelong connection, friendship or romantic, there's, poten there's like, that potential there. But, you know, it's, people have free will at the same time. Don't sleep with this person, though. Don't, don't sleep with this person early on. I feel like this person, I don't know if they, like, lose respect if they have sex with someone or what it is, but I feel like this person that you're dealing with like they it's like when they have sex with someone it's almost like 
if it's too early on, like they just they just get it out of their system and then they ghost this, they ghost them. It's really kind of fucked up. Like this person will like have sex like a one night stand or like a fuck buddy situation or whatever. Like they'll have sex with someone and then they'll like leave them out in the cold. Like an ending heartbreak. And then they go on to the next thing. Illusion, choices. I also think that not having sex with this person early on is going to set you apart from like other people in this person's eyes. You know what I mean? Because like maybe this person's used to like, you know, just getting it really easily. And then it's like it's almost like a perception shift. Like if they have sex too early on, it's like they're they look at it differently. You know what I mean? So you want to you want to build a solid foundation first before sleeping with this person. Um, cause yeah, the cards are basically saying that's not going to go well. You guys have sex too early on, whether it's on your end or there's maybe, it, maybe it's you, maybe you're the one that has like a perception shift. Um, but it's almost like if they get it too soon, they lose interest. So, so there has to be like a real solid, genuine connection built first, like that stability first. And then the sex is just a, a part of that. Um, so make sure that you have that stability. Anyway, I'm going to put this out there for you guys. Thank you for watching.